Hey guys, what's going on? It's Goo here for Convergence. I'm back with another war recap video. Uh, I'll be doing the war recap for our war with CBC, and I'll be I'm here with a guest from uh, one of my clamets, Finch. Uh, Finch, say hi. What's up, Curmudgeons? All right. So as you can see, we won by five stars. Um, Total destruction was 96% compared to 91%. And all good. All right. Okay. So we had a slight town hall, uh, town hall advantage over them. We had one more town hall 11 than they had, and I think a couple of 9.5s. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, it was a couple 9.5s. Yeah. We just had them. It was like a really big mismatch in our favor, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely helped us out, like, after a long uh, string of mismatch against us. But yeah. to make it a little, like, the war a little more fair, we had our lowest Town Hall 11 put out uh, his Eva artillery, and our lowest Town Hall 10 put out his um, Inferno Towers. So you can see that Ant has his Eva artillery in the corner. And I think Chib had his. Yeah, it was Chib. Yeah, he had his in his corner too. Yeah. Cause we're nice guys. Yeah, definitely not. All right. Um. All right. Let's start with some recaps. So the first recap will be on number two. It'll be by my town hall ten, and I'll just be coming in with a. Uh, stone bow attack basically. So I start off with a couple bowlers, just scatter around the perimeter of the base, a couple minions to help funnel, just take out some trash buildings. And while they're doing that, well, I'm just patiently waiting before dropping down my golems. I want to get as much buildings out of the way as possible so like my bowlers don't get distracted while they're going inside the base. For sure, you got plenty of time. Yeah, definitely. Like, it's crucial that you get your funneling down on these Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 11, or else your whole attack which could just get ruined by like a yeah, slight mistake. Yeah, sometimes because they're just such weird layouts. Yeah, definitely. Especially with bases with like a couple walls scattered around the perimeter, it just makes yeah. it harder to funnel. There's often like a lot of trash on the outside which pulls all your bowlers or your troops <laughs> to the sides. Yeah. So, I drop by jump over to Eagle Artillery. Bowlers have gone in, so has the Golem. Queen has targeted the Hound and popped it, and I put down a couple poison for it. I drop a freeze on one Inferno, so just there's less damage for the bowlers. Uh, the Town Hall, Town Hall goes down. And then... Yeah, from there, after the town hall goes down, that's one star, and you just have to, like, have more troops to get, like, the rest of the percentage, the 50%. Yeah, you've been breaking the, uh, baby dragons a lot, and it's been helping out. Yeah, I feel like the four golem strategy is, like, make it or, like, make it or lose it. If you don't get it yeah. right, you, it just goes, yeah, you won't get a percentage. You might get a town hall, but you won't get a percentage, or... You, you get a percentage, but not the town hall. So like yeah, especially this guy like wasn't completely maxed, so you had like an opportunity to bring three golems. Yeah, to too. definitely. Yeah, like my attack on number one. Yeah, it was a little lopsided, but kind of worked out in the end. Yeah, it worked out. You got you got two star. Yeah, true. All right, so that's number two there. Uh, let's move on to number three. It will be a Town Hall 11 dip by our number 2 Doc on their number 3 and he's coming in with a bitch attack. So he starts with a uh, starts with a couple of witches and bowlers down 6th and another set around 4 o'clock. Drops a jump, I want to say around like 4 or 5, then another jump right after that. And then he sends in the remainder of his bowlers, witches, and heroes, and just pushes along the base. 
to be honest, I didn't really like his jumps because I thought the first one was a waste. <laughs> but it just showed how much like he overpowered the base with like yeah exactly he jumped it's... too much. Yeah, he definitely could have bring, brought some wall breakers honestly and broke yeah. in and not waste a spell. Could have worked better. Yep. But and then... his, his late uh, king ability helped him out, I think. True. But you can see that Doc is just smashing everything. The bitch attack is oh, yeah. very powerful. It's almost like a spam. It's pretty much a spam attack. It just it just maintains like its strength because all those skeletons. <laughs> the skeletons keep distracting while like the bowlers just trash everything. Yep. So Doc's just about finished up here. He just has the archer tower cannon and the air defense up around twelve. And his heroes are just working their way up. Yep. Still had an unpopped golem the whole time too. Yeah, true. It's still up, and he only brought one golem for this raid, right? I believe. Yeah. Yeah, just the one in the yeah. CC. Mm -hmm. And his bowlers are closing in, and he still had one down around like. One o'clock, just taking out the air defense there. And that's number three. Our next attack will be another Town Hall 11 dip on number four, and it'll be by our number one, Chris. He's coming in with his um, shattered, uh, shattered Gobo Laloon. So he starts off with a wizard at three and just taking out some buildings there. Then drops two golems, one at four and another around five. And just using some wizards and bowlers to make a funnel. I really liked his entry here. It was really, really good value. Yeah. And a really good funnel too. It like, you brought yeah, he puts his jump almost directly into core, so it opens up a lot of the base there. Yeah. So much value. Yeah. Pops his warning's ability, and while they're still up, uh, the bowlers are able to get a good amount of uh, the base down. Queen pops the hound, and Queen is just finish up taking out the pup. He needs to start sending his Lalum at that 3 o'clock air defense. Chris has been doing really well with these, like, Gobo Lalum attacks he does. Yeah. Even though, like, Killing with, it. Yeah, definitely. It's a shame that we couldn't get in um, more uh, Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11 attacks this war. Yeah. Nine's kind of, we kind of struggled a little bit, but uh, it turned out okay. Yeah, I think we had a good amount of dips. We had like a good amount of 9.5s that were able to take out the nines, help the nines take out the nines. So Chris yeah, is real just... Real nice heal spell at the end. I'm sorry, God. <laughs> yeah, real nice heal spell at the end. I feel like it's really coming into the meta now. Yeah, definitely air. like over Tesla Farms or um, Wizard Tower, Wizard Farms. It's like that last little bit where the you have loons up, but they're all low health. And mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, just a really good, uh, yeah. If really you're not careful, addition. like a single air bomb could take him out. Right. So Chris finishes up that raid with a nice triple, a nice shot by Chris, and let's move on on to Town Hall Nines. As mentioned by Finch before, uh, Town Hall Nines struggle a little bit. So there's not a lot of like Town Hall 9 versus Town Hall 9 attacks, but there's a couple of good ones and I'll be showing you guys those. The first attack will be on 14 by... was it 14? No, I think it was 16. Oh, 16, yeah, there we go. 14 was T Diddy. Alright. So it'll be on 16 by T Diddy, and he's coming in with a Queen Walk Govajo. Gova Boho. Okay, yeah. So it starts off with a um, wizard just to 
take out some trash buildings to make sure the queen walks the right way. And puts his queen down around 4 or 5 o'clock. He's got a super valuable whiz down there at 6. Just clean it up so his queen can go have a nice easy path. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think he, was there a Tesla farm there? Like by the heroes? Or was that just a single Tesla? Just one, yeah. Oh, there's, yeah. So it's like a semi farm? Yeah, I think the other ones are on the other side. Okay. Like in a mirror. Kind yeah. Of so T Diddy rages up his queen and uh yeah takes out the enemy archer queen right once the queen goes down he puts down his golem at nine o'clock and you can see that the wizard you drop at six is still up and going hasn't really like, taken much damage well it hasn't taken any damage at all yeah he's fine yeah sends out a uh test wall breaker triggers a little bomb and then drops the remainder of his wall breakers. Uh, King and Bolt. King goes down, then the Valks go down. Fortunately, the Valks didn't uh, go into the compartment where his wall breakers broke into, but they broke into a different compartment, which still worked out in the end. Throws a heal over his Valks, just to keep, the, uh, keep them up. Yeah, and the bowlers walked outside, but they're actually getting a lot of work done out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, taking out a couple of the splash damage. Then he starts sending in his hogs around 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock. Just slowly sending in, as he does happen, heals for them, so he has to be pretty precise as to where to drop them. Once that mortar goes down, it's just clean up from there. Nice job by T. Diddy. Bring in the redheads. Yep. I love them. Yeah, haven't seen them in a while ever since like Rob started using them. Yeah, Rob really love them too. Yeah. Alright, our next replay will be by uh, Jack, uh, number 18. He's coming in with a similar strategy. Only with more hogs and no golem. And less Valks. So he starts his queen walk around uh, 9 o'clock. Yeah, 9 o'clock. Has a couple, has a wizard and minion down to help funnel the queen. Drags out the CC with his queen, puts down poison for them. You can see like the meta for the CC nowadays for Talon 9 is like a lot of Baby Drag, uh, Witch, and if Valk or like Goblins or something. Yeah, it's a little, like 75% of the CTs are Baby Drag combos. Yeah. And definitely like Witches are very annoying if you don't get to cover them with um, yeah. your poison. That poison can just take your queen forever. Yeah. So he sends in two Valks to help funnel, um, drops a jump around 11 o'clock, then the remainder of his Valks and his bowlers. And where he places jump, he got, got uh, a lot of good value out of it, as he took out a lot of the splash damage buildings, like the wizard towers and uh, the bomb tower. And I think he took out the Tesla farm too, almost all of it. Yeah, I mean, his kill squad gets so much done. I mean, he's got four point defense down below for 18 hogs and a heal. <laughs> it's just overkill. I gotta get on get on him, though. He's got level 5 wizards and <laughs> baby big dragons. True. He has to get upgraded. Like, he has to get <laughs> those troops upgrading. He's a, he's a lazy farmer. I know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But very nice job by um, Jag here. There's a Troll Tesla up at 12. And yeah, this one's fresh too. Yep. Yeah, and for 
front there is just clean up. And you can see that his queen is still at full health and the healers switch over to healing this queen king. So both hero, heroes were at full health I think after the raid ended. Alright, and for our last attack it will be Finch's attack on number 23. And it's all you bud. Yeah, this is really fun. Uh, I was gonna hit it fresh, but then ran out of time for the day. So, uh, hit a little later after I'd seen like where the Teslas and all the traps were. So, I decided to change the entry point a little bit. And I went from 6 o'clock here. So, I got the golem going in. I wanted to get that archer tower down to really set my funnel really well. Um, I got an easy wall break in here get that one little bomb. I was pretty ballsy, only bringing three wall breakers. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so, Town Hall is going down. The CC was a golem, it was really, yeah, don't that's... really see that a lot. No, definitely not a lot that, uh, nowadays. It's either like a hound or some combo with a baby drag. Yeah. So I just did a poison on that, and really slow spell usage, because I mean, my golems can tank forever, I got three of them. But yeah, get in there, drop the jump over the expo. Nice heal on there, just keep all those guys alive. Gets queen, gets the expo, and finally the bowlers really come in the base, but then I just like start some hogs from, uh, from nine o'clock, just grab the archer tower. And I'm really just trying to reinforce my kill squad as the golems get farther and farther into the base. And uh, the baby dragon at 11 was a little unplanned, but it worked out pretty well. But uh, yeah, the rest of my hogs came in from 3 o'clock, and I wanted to save the heal as long as possible, and ideally, actually, the baby dragon gets the Tesla, and then gets the wizard tower. And so I really just overpowered it, and uh, it was really nice. It just cleaned up, got some cleanup whiz. Mm -hmm. Swag to poison. And, uh, yeah, yeah, good amount done. of hogs still up and running. Yeah. Yeah, it worked out really well, and um, always happy to get it done. Yep. All right, and that's gonna be the end of it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll be back with another video for our war against Megapixel. And hopefully we'll hear more from Finch in future war recap videos. Sounds good. All right. Peace out, guys. Later. Have a good one. See ya. Get off my lawn.